EFCs, the rise of its prevalence, the impact on the atmosphere, and how it was eventually banned. CFCs, also known as chlorofluorocarbons, are organic compounds containing chlorine, fluorine, and carbon. The most basic and common form, dichlorodifluoromethane, consists of a single carbon atom bonding with two fluorine atoms and two fluorine atoms in a tetrahedral shape. In the early days of its use, this chemical was used for refrigerants, but eventually spread to other applications such as air conditioning and aerosol sprays due to its lack of flammability and low cost of manufacturing. In 1974, Sherwood Rowland and Mario Molina published a report demonstrating the effects CFCs had on the ozone layer. This study showed that CFC molecules released by mass usage of aerosol sprays around the world would make their way up to the atmosphere without decomposing, unlike other chlorine compounds. When in the presence of strong ultraviolet radiation coming from the sun, CFCs disassociate, releasing a chlorodifluoromethyl radical and a chloride ion, both of which are unstable. The chloride anion reacts with atmospheric ozone to form hypochlorite and oxygen. This conversion of ozone to oxygen leads to the depletion of the ozone layer. After this reaction, hypochlorite reacts with an oxygen-free radical to form chloride anion and oxygen. This remaining Cl can then repeat this process again, forming a catalytic cycle. The chloride anion acts as a catalyst, depleting ozone without using itself up, allowing for a small amount of CFC to cause extensive and substantial damage to the ozone layer. During the 1970s and 80s, more researchers, due to the ever-growing concern of rapid ozone depletion, continued looking into CFCs. In 1987, enough evidence was gathered to convince 197 countries to sign the Montreal Protocol. This agreement started to phase products containing CFCs and other harmful atmospheric chemicals to regulating production and trade in regions around the world. This protocol has proven itself effective, causing chlorine levels in the atmosphere to decrease by 11.5% since its peak in 1993. These studies show that if given enough time, the ozone hole above Antarctica will close. However, CFCs from decades of usage are still present in lower layers of the atmosphere, which occasionally still make their way up to the ozone layer. Nonetheless, the large-scale success of the Montreal Protocol has allowed CFC's levels to return to a negligible amount in the modern era. Created using Powtoon.